What's going on everyone? How you doing? Eric here from Nomadic Fanatic. Missed you guys. It's a beautiful day in Illinois with sunshine. I'll be uploading this video with some Nomad internet. I'll put a link below if you need some mobile unlimited internet. Right now, I'm out exploring with my new inflatable kayak. Disclaimer, I did not bring it in the smart car. It's, a, it's an inflatable kayak. It folds up to two foot by 16 inches. I'll show you some clips. I just fit in the back trunk of the car above my speaker box. And then it comes with a little hand pump and you pump up uh, three different chambers of this guy plus the seat. And I don't know, it probably took me a total of five minutes to get it all inflated and set up. And then there's some accessories. Let me show you the accessories. It's kind of a first for a kayak actually. You can't see it because it's in my hand, but the GoPro comes with a mount and it's on a little gorilla tripod. That's the first kayak I've ever seen that has a dedicated GoPro mount. One right there. There's one right there. These are actually universal. And there's one on this side as well. There's actually a bunch of attachments. You can put uh, fishing pole, gear. Um, oh, and the front here, it has the uh, footstep, which is adjustable. It's also got this utility bar here, which is adjustable. You can put mounts, like I ordered a cup holder and a phone mount that you can put on here or other fishing gear. I've got my, my cooler up here with some ice and accessories. And then behind me, don't know if you can see right there, my JBL portable Bluetooth speaker is back there so I can rock out to some tunes while I'm out here. And it sounds really good inside the kayak actually. It sounds really, really good. Got my life jacket. This time I got a kayak specific life jacket that allows me some motion in my arm without cutting off this part right here. So. I, I feel like it's pretty safe. I've been kayaking for years now, and, and honestly, if one of these chambers ever goes out, I'm gonna be okay. It's not the end of the world. These are safe. I just wouldn't use them if there's gators. <laughs> it's about lunchtime here. All right, you wanna see what's on the uh, lunch agenda here today? I got an Italian meat sub marketplace from Walmart that looks frickin' mint, and got some applesauce and some other healthy beverages down there, yeah. All right, let's check out this bad boy there. There's that marinara sauce in there too. Oh man. Mm, I love nature. Oh, this is fantastic. I turned my phone off so I can't get any updates on social media. Oh, it's beautiful, man. Man, mm, that's a good sandwich. Mm. But I definitely need that cup holder. It's gonna go right on the mountain right there and then hopefully it'll be okay. Like, I literally have nowhere to put this. That is so weird. It'll just stay right there, right? It'll just stay right there. Don't move, Eric. <laughs> oh, man. There's a, there's a guy fishing in his boat under the bridge over there. Leads to another part of the lake under the highway. Think we can go under there? Sure, I can fit. Might be some spiders. Let's go do it. But first, what, the whole reason I brought the speaker back there was I could jam out out here on the water. Let's jam out. Let's see how this sounds. Oh, ho, ho. that's awesome. I don't know if it's the boat or the water, but that sounds really good. Whoa. <laughs> yeah. brings back a lot of memories just sitting on a little kayak like this uh, growing up uh, we lived on the water we lived on Puget Sound in Olympia Washington and uh, I remember as a student as a kid taking my homework in my backpack and coming out and dropping anchor in the canoe and doing my homework out on the water like this and it was always pretty peaceful so that's I mean this is a lake obviously it's not salt water but it brings back a lot of memories something really relaxing about just sitting in a boat of course, I like my music too. Blasting every once in a while. Yeah. But. Anyway, I don't want to leave the kitties alone too long. I'm going to start heading back towards a smart car and pack up the uh, 
kayak here. It's a good little kayak. I'm not gonna endorse it or say it's awesome. It's my first time using it. I've tried out a lot of them, a lot of different Intex ones. Uh, this one, you can check out the reviews. It's it's the Intex Challenger Pro. Is that? Excuse me, the Excursion Pro K2 by Intex one-person kayak. There's a two-person version of this, but ironically, it doesn't have the GoPro mounts. Anyway, watch some reviews on YouTube. There's a lot of reviews about this particular boat, and uh, it may work for you. Like I say, it hauls up, packs up pretty, pretty tight and everything. But yeah, I'm gonna start heading back. Am I lost? I've been spinning a lot. I think we gotta go that way. Look at all these turtles on this one log, guys. That's amazing. Oh, some of them are jumping off. Maybe I'm being too loud. Sorry guys, I just wanted to say hi. You guys are awesome. Oh no, they're getting scared. It's okay guys. I just wanted to say you guys are freaking awesome. You gonna jump? It's okay, I'm safe. Uh oh, uh oh, we're losing them guys. Dang it. Well, you needed to bathe anyway. The water's nice, okay? Okay, where'd they go? It's kind of weird, they all just left. Okay. All right, made it back to dry land here. Uh, the only thing tricky, not even tricky, but you can't just leave as soon as you get back because, well, just like the hot tub, you can't put it away wet. You're gonna have mold and you're just gonna have a lot of issues with weird smells and stuff like that. So uh, when I had my other ones, usually once I get back, I just kind of settle, listen to some music, drink a cold one for an hour or so, and just let the sun kind of dry it. There's not a whole lot of moisture inside, but, you know, if I had brought a towel, I could probably speed this process up, but you know, just, just let, let most of the water dry before we deflate it. And oh, now also, I wanna show you a couple things on this thing, cause it's pretty unique. This is what really helps with the stabilization. This is on the bottom, on the back of the kayak, just like a normal kayak would have the rudder for helping, you know, your, your sway and stuff like this. And for packing it up, it is totally, once I can figure it out one-handed, removable. You don't have to worry about it and just pack up with the rest of the gear. So that's kind of cool. And it's not like those latex inflatable ones like the other one I had before from Walmart. It's, it's definitely a different material and it's reinforced. So it's a lot sturdier. Even the front has these hard plastic tips on, on both ends. You know, they, they, they thought of a lot when they were putting this together. And I didn't even show all the accessories. Uh, like I said, the fishing pole stuff. There's even a booster seat in case you're too low. It'll pop you up a little bit more. Tons of different places, lots of places to rearrange all this, and the accessories are pretty much unlimited. Anything that you could buy that goes on the handlebar can be attached to this right here, and it just pops out and can rearrange. And, and again, I understand it's not, a, it's not a real kayak. I'm sure I've got dozens of dozens of viewers who have real hard-sided kayaks and they're like, Eric, you're such a fake, that thing's not a real kayak. Relax, guys. You know what? If you get joy out of it, if it works, it works. This stores in my smart car, <laughs> for crying out loud. So we all have a different way of enjoying life and nature out there. And um, I have missed having a kayak, so I'm glad I got this one. And I think we're just about dry here. So it's time to deflate. Like again, there's those three valves right there. And when I get this back over to the car and I use that hand pump, you just switch the nozzle to the other side and then it actually sucks the air, sucks all of the air out of this so it can fit back in the bag it came with. And it does fit back in the bag, which is a total bonus. Did I mention it's incredibly lightweight also? So I got a text message on my phone when I came back to dry land as a surprise. Jason and Candace from Camping with the Kellys, they're gonna come over to base camp. <laughs> so I gotta get over there right now and uh, change, change a few things at base camp. They're gonna hang out with me for a couple days. It's nice weather in Illinois. So, uh, and they got Traxxas Max trucks. So I'm gonna have some fun. All right, just got back to base camp and I forgot to show you what it looks like all folded up. This is the entire kayak all folded up. I didn't put it in the bag with all the accessories, but as you can see, it really, once you get all the air out of it, it really deflates a lot and uh, it's easy, easy, easy to hold and take away. And base camp's doing good inside. All of my arcade games are still working. And when I got here, Jason and Candace have already uh, backed in and unhooked the truck. So they fit up front. They're plugged into the 30 amp that Robert installed there. 
and the hot tub's plugged in another circuit. So my RV, that one, and the hot tub, and the air conditioner are all on four, four different circuits. So good to go. Hey, the weather's nice right now, but, uh, you know, I think we're all just kind of in a mood to just kind of settle and, and, and relax and probably plop a seat, have a cold one, maybe hop in the hot tub, have a fire later, and just kind of settle before we hit the road. That's the plan. Well, what do you want me to do? Tara likes to play. She loves her toys, and she likes to play. She wants you to play with her. <laughs> I know, right? She's crazy, huh? No, she's literally crazy. You should go help her. Yeah, you should run laps in the RV. Oh my goodness, she's crazy. What are we gonna do with her? What are we gonna do with you? We're gonna feed you? Yeah, this is it. Oh, you need a dinner snack? All right, okay. <laughs> it's, kind of, it's kind of funny when they play. Jax has a limit. I mean, he's quite a bit older uh, than Tara, and he cannot keep up with her all the time, but it is funny to watch them chase each other around the RV. Just makes me so, so happy. They are spending every single night with me in the bed, and I forgot to mention, so the whole after I got back and hung out with Jason and Candace, none of us, maybe he made some video, he, he may have brought his camera in, but we were playing arcades in base camp, and uh, man, that bowling game, we were playing three-player bowler, and Jason actually got the number two high score on the game, which is ridiculous. I still have my 200, but he has a 199 score on that game. <laughs> and uh, yeah, it was, it, was, it was a ton of fun tonight, I just didn't film a whole lot, and that's kind of what happens. Hey, Jax, man, is she driving you crazy? You should go kick her butt. You should go kick Tara's butt. What's she doing? What's she doing over there, Jax? She being a putz? Show me what she's doing. Yeah, show me what she's doing. Is she being naughty? What are you doing, Tara? You being naughty? No, she's being good. She's being good. She was going to put on her other sombrero hat. Yeah, she's a good girl. Oh, my goodness. I love my kitties. My kitties are so sweet. Hi, Tara Bear. Oh, we love your... Look at her cool little ID tag with Minnie Mouse. She's so precious. Where's yours, Jax? No, you need one, buddy. You need one. Okay. So, moving forward before I leave base camp. Uh, I have not drained the hot tub yet, obviously. Uh, this is unexpected. And to be honest... <laughs> I was really happy that Jason and Candace came to base camp. I was right at that point where I was starting to feel just a little like, how come nobody wants to hang out at my place? <laughs> like, I don't know. I just, I felt, I felt weird about it. And, uh, how did you get up here? When did you get up here? <sighs> uh, so anyway, I'm going to hang out with my friends for a little bit longer and we're going to, there's some rain in the forecast also. Yeah. Okay. So, um, I don't know when I'll get back to you, but it'll be soon. Okay. Okay, you, you ain't right, Jax. All right, Tara. We'll see you guys in a, in a few days. Bye. <laughs>